beep, beep, beep. All right, I'm starting to think Mal P is like some big, big room producer from back in the day or something. Like, he's just too good and looks very familiar. Where you come from, man? All right, guys, so Mal P released Give Me That Bounce, which is the follow up to Drugs from Amsterdam, which, yeah, god damn, damn. 357,000 times. That track has one of the biggest build ups I ever heard. Now, I'm a professional sound designer, which sells presets at evilsounds.com. So, you know how to make a video about how to execute that. Check it out, it'll be the card here. The song starts off with like a very gnarly square wave. Now, usually a square wave based sound sounds very basic and a lot of people aren't like, whoa. However, what he decides to do is he uses this longer format of a square. He has some very gated vocals, which if you if you don't know how to do gated vocals, especially in Ableton, get, get, get down and work it. If you have the right transient markers in Ableton, you can go here and do this and then just pull down. Get, get, get down and work it. Get, get, get down and work it. Now make my voice sound a little more badass. Get, get, get down and work it. Get, get, get down and work it. DLA vocals. Crystal Algae makes even the worst of singers sound good with this. Get, get, get down and work it. Get, get, get down. But yeah, it's something cool that you hear in the song, which I found really fun and a new way of using it. <laughs> Now I think Mal P is a buildaholic at this point. He just loves making like big epic buildups. <laughs> but you know, I, I think one of the cool things about this is the way that he probably did it. You know, we know he's in D sharp. Yeah, my recreation of the Mal P lead, which I think is way more spot on than some other peeps out there. Yes, I'm throwing shade. I'm gonna use more of a bald man's cut style mallet. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he used an ARP and just did like pulled the rate back. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Bro. And then he comes in slowly and hits us with that melody. And then the man has more reverb than a David Guetta future rave track. And at the same time, it goes from mono. And then it opens up. That'd be interesting to know if Mal P is mixing or mastering his own tracks. Because if he is, Jesus, man. At this rate, this man's going to have a Mal P Waves plugin called Buildups or something. Now, the lead in this track, I actually enjoy a lot. And I don't know why people like love to hate on Saws just because it's Saws. I mean, it's been in style since synthesizers were born, dog. A Saws never out of style. So, yeah, creating these kind of Saws, it's all about the tone. You know, you want you there's like a bit of width to it. But at the same time, there's like a mono sound there to allow for mono compatibility. It's very punchy, which tells like no sustain some decay. However, one of the easiest things to do to shape a sound, you know, that's what it's called subtractive synthesis. It's like you take away some of the highs on the saw to make it sound a little bit more like mature. Cut out some of the lows. We don't want the bass finding out our sancha, the lead. And then usually boosting somewhere. can give a really nice tone to it. Now usually with leads like the mids is where you have a lot of the body and then the mid highs is where you have more of like a cut but I met this master engineer once where he was like yo San anti 3k or what? I kind of wanted to act like I knew what he was talking about so I was like <laughs> now in the break the vocal comes in like the main one and it has some really dark vibes to it and a lot of glitches i know a lot of people are gonna ask yo how do you do that kind of stuff give me that vibe the vibe can't be destroyed like newton's second law energy can't be destroyed energy can't be created the vibes can't be created the vibes can't be destroyed all right so we're gonna use cla vocals on my vocals just a bit give me that vibe the vibe can't be destroyed like newton's we're also gonna use maggie q and just add a bit of air to the vocal give me that vibe you know for like that crispiness can't be destroyed like Newton's second law. Energy can't be complex, bro. Give me that vibe. The vibe can't be destroyed like Newton's second law. Energy can't be destroyed. Energy can't be created. The vibes can't be created. The vibes can't be destroyed. Now there's this cool little plug-in which only the rich can afford. It feels like because it's thing like 200 bucks. So don't ask how I got it. Rent to own. Finance it. Give me that vibe. The vibe can't be destroyed like Newton's second law. Energy can't be destroyed. Energy can't be created. I feel like it's going to be a combination of this with like some really cool stuff. But this plugin will also have the ability to glitch the vocal. So I could input a polyvox, which is an original vocal. Give me that vibe. The vibe can't be destroyed. And then from there, we can add this shredder at 50. Give me that vibe. The vibe can't be destroyed. Like Newton's second law. The vibe can't be destroyed. Stop. The vibes never end. Like Newton's second law of motion. 
poor man's way of creating glitches, which I think is the better way, is to make another channel. Just duplicate this one, zero it out. And then wherever you want to have a glitch, you can always just press zero, uh, zero back in, and then grab it. Believe. You got to believe in me, John. There we go. Maybe it has to be faster. I bet. Okay, we do that. Maybe Command J it. And then from there, we can use Transient Mode 16s now. One like that. And finally, the other plugin, which used to be free. I mean, they got smart and new people were downloading. So they're like, we're going to charge these fools, man. <laughs> it's glitched. So, so my camera just died. I think they're trying to gatekeep this plugin, but it's glitched too. Uh, back then, it was a lot more simple to use. And now it looks uh, hella complicated, but it's super fun. Watch, check it. Can't be we're going to put the mix maybe at 50. They can't be destroyed. And then maybe we can utilize a stretcher or something like. They can't be destroyed. They can't be destroyed. They can't be destroyed. Or like a retrig, maybe like here to get rid of that. They can't be destroyed. Oh, there you go. They can't be destroyed. Energy can't be created. The vibes can't be created. Can't be destroyed. Energy can't be created. Now Ma P can't resist himself, and he does another epic build up where this time there's like a drum beat now playing with the epic synth, but. The last part of the song, the last edition, is the atmosphere that you hear at the end, which is like this female voice. I can be a female superstar house vocals too. Here I have myself singing beautifully. Yeah! <laughs> so the theory with those kind of sounds, if you if you like, and I feel like a lot of us could use more atmosphere, is to play it. Yeah! And then freeze it. And as you can see, I can also sound like a beautiful house vocalist. Command T and put resampling on, so that way can record it once we have that we have this look so give me that bounce by Mal P is actually a good follow-up to drugs from Amsterdam is it better I don't know I, I still like drugs from Amsterdam a bit more but this song has a lot of really cool moments in it and cool sounds to kind of get inspired of so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and me dissecting and breaking down some of the stuff he did so always if you want to support the channel make sure to head over to evilsounds.com you can find all of my sound design work and if you want to learn how to make the drugs from Amsterdam epic build-up synth make sure to check out this video as well with that being said happy producing and you guys have a great rest of your day